What's going on guys, no guides here, welcome back to another video now in today's video we have a 500k squad builder. This will be a team with as many team and seasons as we can fit in and obviously you want a good team that can work in delay. Um, for the formation we're going to go with a 4-3-3 third variation and that is solely just for chemistry. Now we're going to go with players that maybe you don't know but are really worth bang for their buck. I'm also, I want, I want good players in the team with good agility and balance and that is really really important. And one person that goes straight into team very recently just came out from the MLS is Diego Rossi. Now Rossi um, is actually his actual card. It's a bit of a joke. Four star, four star, high, low, five foot seven. And the fact he's only 40k is a bit of a joke. Um, a really, really good card. Nine agility and balance. Good finishing he does have some traits mainly being outside of foot shot traits so for a striker for 40k it's an honestly an absolute bargain i'm a perfect player got the good stamina good shot power decent well very good dribbling and um, decent passing good short passing is what you really need so he's going straight into the team now as you can see he's kind of catered towards um i suppose you can say um it will be two leagues you'll see in a second the second one player we're going to go with lodero i think that's how you say his name another good card um I'm actually going to play this person, uh, well, it's kind of debatable where I do play. I'm thinking about playing him in CDM. I think it is this one. I'm just going to double check quickly which one it is because there's two of them. Um, I just want to make sure it is the right one. It is Nicolas. Um, this card again, another very good card for the fact he's 30k again and he gives the good link. Um, we're going to play him with Anchor in CDM. Um, the reason why we're going to put him in CDM, we want it to be like an attacking CDM. I want it to be an attacking team. Um, you can have defensive players as well. But we're just going with this one, and I'll explain to you why we can use him in a bit. But he's a very, very good card. Such a solid card. And he does give the green strong link, you know. Good card all around. And I think with Anki, he's really good. We'll get on set in a second. Then going over to the left back now, naturally speaking, we want to continue um, with, obviously, the La Liga. I mean, not La Liga, sorry. We're going to go into La Liga in a second. But I want to focus now mainly on... Um, the actual left back. Now, in the left back, there's not really that many good left backs in the game um, to actually link. But there is one good left back that is actually pretty good. I need to actually find his name again. Fortunately, I don't know. His, I think it's Jorge. There it is. Yeah, that's one of the... Yeah, so we have this one. Now, the other one is, look, he'll be playing off chemistry, right? But it doesn't matter. His stats are very good. He's got 99 sprint speed. That, in combination with his stand tackling and his aggression and his slide tackling and his agility and balance make him perfect. And the fact that he's high medium as well will be really good in the 4 triple two. But generally a good for me. I know he's five foot nine, but don't forget no one crosses anymore, so it doesn't really make that much of a difference. The next player we're gonna go with is Robinson. Now, this is also another player from MLS. And you see, these guys are honestly absolute bargains. You know, if you haven't got the money and you're looking to buy a cheap team and you only have 500 k these are really, really good options. They're so so cheap. Um, next player we're gonna go with is with Robinson. It's Miles Robinson, now another very, very good player. His stats look very, very good. Six foot two. Um, but he's got the height, but he's also got the agility and balance. People have always doubted him. Um, hang on, that's the wrong one. Hang on, that's the, that's the wrong one. <laughs> Apologies, it's the wrong one. So yeah, people always doubted him because when he came out, because they said to him, okay, he's medium, medium. Now, I'll be honest, work rates don't really matter too much as a center back who's on stay back while attacking. The main thing I'm looking at is that agility and balance. Now, I know his dribbling is not good, but he's never going to dribble on the ball. Let's be realistic. And agility and balance is really, really important. He's got naturally good sprint speed and he's got very good defending. He's going to be playing off chemistry and he's got the composure and the reaction. So, in my opinion, probably one of the best center backs you can probably get for under 30k. Now, goalkeeper, let's be honest, there is only one goalkeeper that's even good enough to even compete. And that is even gold to Stegen. Now, if you've got the money, I would recommend upgrading to actually another to Stegen, for example, the team of the season to stay in if you got 100k or so but just to keep the prices down i've gone with this to stay in. now even this to stay in, is still one of the best best goalkeepers in the game you know you guys probably know this even i'd rather have gold to stay in over someone like team of the season or black is mainly because of his animations he's got to stay with the feet trait he's really really good and in order to retain chemistry we need someone in the game now if you know well, if you watch me you know who's coming here semedo is still going to come here um, he's not going to play center back though this time. He's actually going to be playing right back. So we're going to go with the gold tomato. If you have the money, you can get the informed tomato. This guy is still one of the best right backs in the game. But I think he does need a shadow now. I think you could have got away with anchor. But I think you do need to maximize that sprint speed to 99 in my opinion. Because people are playing driven through balls down the line. So in my opinion, you really want to use someone who's got really, really good pace and that's why for me i would go with tomato you can use an anchor but i would probably use a shadow and now next him now if you have the regular long card 
and you've done that Regalon card, which I'm presuming most of you guys have done him, you can slot Regalon in here. Um, that's the play you want to use. Now, I know some of you guys haven't done Regalon because you haven't done objectives. The next play you can go is Bechiche. I think that's how you say his name. Um, another very, very good card. Um, again, he'll be playing center back though, so you won't actually be playing in the right back position. Again, he's a left back, but he's going to be getting full chem or full chemistry for that position, should I say. He'll be, good, he'll be getting seven chemistry. Um, he's already got very good base stats, that's why I chose him. Good sprint speed. And it will work very, very well because you've got someone who's like almost very, very tall. Um, or almost very, very solid, and you have a player that's almost very, well, just as good, to be honest, but a bit more dynamic in terms of the fact that you can dribble, you can run forward with the ball, and you can distribute the ball, so he will be a very, very good card. Now, going over to the midfield now, I'll be honest, you can go with Cruz here, there's, there's a choice, you can either go with Cruz, um, Cruz is a more defensive-minded player in this situation, you can go with Cruz, I'm not a big fan of him, um, I don't like the agility and balance, many people do, if you want to use Cruz in this position, you can. But for me, the most superior person is Santi Cadola. You know, the fact that this guy's got a five-star week for as a CDM with these stats makes him an absolute steal. He's so cheap now as well. He's under 100k now, so you can get him. I think he's, if I'm not mistaken, he's, well, actually, no, I think he's just, well, he's just over 100, 110k actually now. But with the mark crash, probably go down for that. Look at those stats. You can almost play him anywhere. Cam, striker, CDM, anywhere. We're going to put him in CDM though, because we need someone... I want us to be an attacking formation. You can go with someone like De Jong if you really want to in this position. Um, if you really want some defensive, you can go with De Jong. But I've gone with Cadola. Buy him with a shadow so you get the max maximize the sprint speed and you get the stand tackling and the exception defensive awareness up. So definitely go with the shadow. Then moving over to the rest of the attack. Now, who's a very good attacker that's under? Now, don't forget the budget is quite scarce now. We only have like about 150k left. And Moreno is obviously one card that I've looked at. And I'll be honest, he's really, really good. There is some doubts within people that are being like, oh, you know, the fact that, you know, he hasn't got the best skill moves. But I think he's really, really good. You know, he's got the good agility. The only thing that lets him down is the balance. Now, there's two ways you can fix this. You can use a sniper, which will get his composure and his agility and everything up. Or you can use an engine. I would go with the engine personally because he's on the wing. He's got very good shooting stats anyway. So just go with the engine. Get that balance up. Get that balance up to 89, close to 90, and he'll be very, very good in the ball. He is 5 foot 11, so he's not too tall. So that's how I would go with engine. You can go with in a sniper. A sniper will give him a little bit more balance. I think it'll give him plus 5, so we get 84 balance. But I would go with an engine. It's definitely what I would go for. Then moving over to the actual... We're not going to play this person's striker. This is going to be another winger. Now, Lucas Perez uh, won... Actually, did a pretty, pretty decent job he did at Arsenal, I'll be honest. Um, but Lucas Perez... Another, another very, very good card. Um, an underrated card for his price. Again, he's an absolute steal. You know, a lot of these cards, people are underlooking them because they're saying, oh, you know, they're off league or he hasn't really got, he's not really worth the money. But for 40k, it's an absolute bargain. Media, media. Now, he's going to be playing on a wing. I'll probably put him in a 4 2 3 one on comeback and defense. So that's why I've got him there. He is left footed as well. Um, that is the only downside, but he does have four star, four star, um, and he's a very good card as you can see. He's got everything. He's got a stamina also, a track back. It's not too high, um, don't get me wrong, but it can get the job done. It can still track back. I um, mean, do have the agility and balance. I probably would go with either an engine or a sniper. Me personally, I would go with an engine again because down the wing, then in a four-two-three-one, you know, you have a cam. These two wingers, you want them to have, in my opinion, a lot of pace so they can go up and down the pitch. And that's why for me, I always prioritize pace. So in both the case of Perez and um, Moreno, we've gone with engine. Get his balance to 97 and get his sprint speed to 82 with a plus 5. Um, sorry, 92, should I say, to increase the sprint speed up. And that's pretty much it. Then the other player we're going to go with Cam is Munayin. Now, if you really want to, you could put someone like a defensive player. Now, Munayin is probably one of the best cards in the game. Um, for his price, he's an absolute joke, absolute monster. People, they underrate him, I don't know why, but he's got five-star weak foot. He can play on the wing, he can play centrally, and he can play cam. Now, the question you might ask me is, well, why not I just put him in CDM? Um, if you are going to put him in CDM with a medium-low, I just don't think he's useless in, in CDM. I'll probably put him in cam. So I'll put, you know, for example, this person, Ladero and uh, and, um, and Cathola in CDM. But if you want to change this up, what I'd recommend is getting rid of Monain and you get someone like De Jong here. It's not, it's not an issue. You get someone like De Jong here who's more of a defensive mind. You can get someone like Party if you want someone even more defending. But I'll be honest, you can get 87 Frank at De Jong. I think with, with uh, Shadow, he's really, really good. And he gets full chemistry in that slot as well. And so does Cathola. You know, he's medium high. He's got more of the 
the more the defensive work rates and I think with a shadow he is exceptionally good so if you do want a better defensive threat or defensive more stable defensive you can use that and I'm just going to show you what it looks like um, in terms of chemistry and what it should look like, like in game as you can see this is what it looks like um, you got this is how we'll play now let's say you put De Jong over here let's just say we're going to put De Jong over here most of the players will get maximum chemistry as you can see if, if you if you really want you can put someone like Party here and who's a more defensive variation but in my opinion, it's pointless. You might as well just go with De Jong. You can do a bit of everything. And um, I'll probably go with De Jong. But if you really want to be more stable, you can use Party. So just under 500k, as you can see, 450. So you actually have time. You actually have space to buy, for example, Semedo in form. You actually have space to maneuver. Um, but that's what I would go with. And I said, you know, Bocice as well. Because if you don't have regular line, you have to use Bocice. Um, a very very good card and that's the way i play it you know just under just just for 500k now how would i play in game now everyone will get 10 chemistry every single player part the left back the center back and the two well essentially the whole back line now don't forget we have gone with a la liga manager and we have gone so we have gone with united states so the us will give robertson the chem and the left back and right back they're really good as is you don't really need them to get chemistry so how do you play in game you may ask so if you're going to play a 4-2-3-1 now i'll probably rossi striker outside of foot shot trait five foot seven amazing stats you know it moreno on the wing and then i'll put cathola in cam i think cathola is a really good cam but if you're going to play him in cam then bind with a hunter rossi i'd probably go with either a maestro or a sniper is completely up to you um some people prefer a maestro even a hawk a hawk is actually pretty or well, marksman is pretty good um i'll probably go with a marksman or a sniper I'll probably get a sniper for me just to get that composure up in my personal opinion perez moreno and engine ladero this is this is the one which is a bit debatable now his pace is pretty decent i would put him on anchor now i know he is medium high but i think if you leave him on balanced or just he would naturally go forward and he'll gravitate forward. So with De Jong on medium, medium attacking, high defensive, and this guy on high attacking, medium defensive, he would go forward and, and then naturally be able to attack. And he's got four star, four star, five foot seven again. And he's got really good stats. And that's why he's a really, really feasible card. So yeah, definitely that. Um, Marrero, 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 Marrero. I was going to say, I said Madero, <laughs> Moreira, that's the, I think that's how you say his name. Um, I'd probably go with an anchor or a shadow. Robinson, I think I would go with an anchor. Semedo, I'll go with a shadow. And Pachicha, I'd also go with the an anchor. And Stegen, you can use balance, but uh, basic, but I would also use a glove. So that's how I play in a 4-2-3-1. Again, Semedo will go on the, on the right-hand side, you know, Pachiche or, you know, Regalon, whoever you have here, and Robinson. Um, if you're going to play a 4-4-2, it's the exact same thing. But who would go striker here is a bit debatable. Now, in a 4 4 2, I'd put a Cathola striker just because, simple fact, you got two uh, or well, you got a five star weak foot, have this person on false nine, and then you'll have um, um, Moreno and Perez on the wing. And then after that, if you're going to play a 4 1 2 on 2 second variation, if you're going to play my one, it's a bit difficult. You're probably going to have to do something like that with Diong and drop between defenders, and I'll probably line it up like maybe Cathola like that and um, Perez or either one Perez Moreno um, I'll probably go with probably go with Perez just because the fact he's got better agility balance in striker um, that's probably our, our way I'll line up in a 4-1-2-1-2 -1 and that is pretty much it you know and that is really really it's a really really good formation um, a really good versatile players and I think this is the best card you can get players like Hamdala you can go with like the off leagues um, but I think in terms of agility and balance in terms of maximizing the best players you can get I think this is the best for 500k thank you very much for watching boys Take it easy and I'll catch you next time. Peace out.